That was my first Asian. You better lock it up. You better lock it up. No, you lock it up. You lock it up. Lock it up. Lock it up. Hey guys, Jeff the maintenance man. <clears throat> um someone asked me in a message, they said, Do you use lockout tag out? Yeah, we do. And if y'all don't know what lockout tag out is, let's say I have a breaker that I've flipped off. But then an employee is called on the radio saying, oh, the lights are out over there. But I'm working on that device. And I'm working on the lights. Maybe changing a ballast or something. I'm supposed to put this lock on here. So you can't, you can't flip the breaker. And um, this is the lockout tag out. Um, sometimes we'll just put the tag. Most of the time I'll just put this on there. And lock it with a physical lock. This lock right here is my lock because I have the key on my keychain. So nobody else has the key but me. So this is the key for the lock. Um, <clears throat> so you can take these devices and you can like open this one, put it over something, lock it like this, and then you can put a tag on it too if you wanted to. You know, definitely it's definitely saying do not use so that's the reason you would use the lockout tag out is because you have an employee going huh well this breaker's off flip and you're up there you're working on 480 or uh, 208 or whatever and that that person would flip on the breaker and then all of a sudden your circuits live and you knew that you turned off the breaker well so you want to lock it out so that employee cannot turn it on while you're on there these are for like little valves if you don't want somebody to turn on a valve a small valve a big valve a bigger valve and stuff like that so this one was one of my personal ones back in the day I needed to kind of redo it maybe rub that off and then yeah it rubs off a little bit so put another sharper marker on there and this one opens like this it's made out of metal and I can put a lock in any of these six holes um, so basically that's what lockout tag out is so if you see if you're maybe a HVAC contractor you know do not use thermostat is broken will cause leak well the smile uh, thing I got one that I've used before West 217 exposed with live wires do not use uh, live exposed wires hot maintenance and I had Jeff there I'm usually the one that's using them all the time um, I don't necessarily use these will also go on light switches to lock them out they don't hold too good but you can get them to hold if you ratchet down on them good enough but these are like the um, the ones we have here. Most of our lockout tag out is electrical. There's not too many cases where we're going to be using the locking out of the water there. But these all go in this uh, lockout tag out toolbox. It's got documentation with it to explain what lockout tag out is. Probably better than I'm doing now, but extra tags here's an extension cord lockout I forgot to put that one in there but this thing kind of folds on to the extension cord so you can't unplug it or plug it back in so you can lock the two ends together some rubber boots to help um, these locks the breaker locks are here some extra these is a two pole breaker or a huge 400 amp breaker lock out and uh, some tags here some stickers for those locks pull them off and stick them there this lock belongs to and you wrap it around a lock so that's uh, basically what lockout tag out is um, somebody asked if we use it you know yeah, I do in certain cases, you know, I might not necessarily doing a ballast um, My lockout I'll show you what my lockout is for a ballast 
just a second. When I'm doing a ballast, somebody can come in there. Usually I'll wire them hot anyway. It's not that big of a deal. But just in case there's something where I need to like pull the light fixture down and I need the wires to be off. Um, so on a light ballast, there's a light ballast. Whoa, Whoa how, how cool is that? When I take the uh, fixture, let me put this over here by our nice pink, pink hard hat. That I don't think anybody's ever going to be man enough to wear. That was bought as a joke, I think. Um, so my lockout is for ballast. If you ever do ballast, the first thing I do is I unscrew the black wire going to the ballast. I take one of these, as soon as the black wire is unscrewed, I put one of these on there with no insulation showing or anything. I cut this a little bit shorter. But once you put this on here, it can't come off. It can't come back off. And you don't have to worry about touching anything electrical at that point on. So as long as when you put in your new ballast, you hook up the black wire last, all this will be cold. So you're locking yourself out by doing that. So it doesn't matter if somebody turns it on or not. There's no way to contact the electrical and get elect electrocuted. So that's... <laughs> One way where you don't have to use lockout, but sometimes a company about like, you're not using lockout cut out. <laughs> but <laughs> yes, I am, just in a different way. Jeff, the maintenance man, y'all have a great day. Take care and be safe. That was my first Asian. You better lock it up. You better lock it up. No, you lock it up. You lock it up. Lock it up. Lock it up.